Alright guys welcome back with me with another YouTube video. Every Yonko in the One Piece story usually has a division leader who is then referred to as the division commander. They are tasked with leading the rest of the crew and also being an extension of the captain. In terms of strength too, usually the division commanders are very strong when compared to other ordinary crews. Because of this, divisional commanders are usually the ones to rely on in a battle. Like their captains, these division commanders also have fantastic bounties. Their value can even reach over 1 billion berries, and even close to the captain's bounty. Then, how much are the current Yonko commanders worth? But before we start this video, please smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and click notification bell, or you will miss future anime videos. Charlotte Cracker Charlotte Cracker is the 10th eldest child of the Charlotte family and is also one of the division heads in the Big Mom Pirate Group. He is the chief minister of Biscuits. Cracker himself has the nickname Thousand Arms, which is because of his great ability as a swordsman. By using her pretzel sword, Charlotte Cracker has killed many enemies so far. Cracker's sword skills are truly extraordinary, to the point that the Straw Hats have to be overwhelmed by it. What is very unfortunate is that Cracker has not had the opportunity to meet and fight with Rurano Azoro. Charlotte Cracker has a bounty of 860 million berries. Charlotte Smoothies Another Charlotte family member who has great bounty is Charlotte Smoothie. Smoothie is a female character in the One Piece series who has the highest bounty at the moment, surpassing the bounty of Nico Robin and Nami. Smoothie is the 14th child in the clan and one of the three sweet commanders. As the Ministry of Juice, Charlotte Smoothie has a powerful, and at the same time terrible ability, namely she is able to control liquid to turn into a terrible weapon. The more liquid that is absorbed, the stronger the smoothie's power will be. Smoothie can't even control the fluids in her opponent's body. Charlotte Smoothie has a bounty of 932 million berries. Jack the Drought Jack the Drought is a member of the Beast Pirates, and is one of the three all-stars apart from King and Queen. Jack is the youngest commander of the other two, even so, the ability of Jack cannot be underestimated. Jack had fought for days against Nekamamashi and Inuarashi at once. Not only that, he also managed to win the battle. Jack's attack is also known to be very powerful, which can destroy a city easily. All of this power comes from the devil fruit he consumes, namely the Elephella fruit ancient Zoan model mammoth. This makes Jack able to turn into a giant mammoth. Jack has a bounty of 1 billion berries. Shiryu. Shiryu is one of the 10 commanders of the Blackbeard Pirates. Before joining Blackbeard's group, Shiryu was one of the guards at Impel Down Prison. His hobby of torturing and killing prisoners made Shiryu finally punished and fired by Magellan. Shiryu also becomes a prisoner at level 6. Shiryu then manages to escape when Blackbeard attacks the prison. Shiryu himself wasn't the only prisoner from level 6 who escaped or was recruited by Blackbeard. We see there are other prisoners like Vasco Shot or San Juan Wolf. However, in terms of strength, Shiryu is considered the most powerful so that he became the right-hand man or deputy commander of Blackbeard. Actually, it is still unknown how much Shiryu's bounty is, but it is suspected that the figure is 1 billion berries. Charlotte Katakuri Katakuri is one of Charlotte Linland's three confidants. Just like the King of the Beast Pirates, Katakuri is the most powerful fighter among Big Mom's men. With his immense strength, even though he is known to have never lost a fight, it is only natural that his bounty will reach 1 billion 57 million berries. Katakuri himself is one of the most formidable opponents that Luffy has ever faced. This is because the power levels of the two are almost equal, although Katakuri must be admittedly slightly superior. In addition, the ability to be able to see into the future is another strength of Katakuri which makes it difficult for enemies to defeat him. Queen Queen is one of Kaido's subordinates from the All-Stars group, besides King and Jack. Compared to Jack, Queen was much stronger. He is also a Zoan-type devil fruit user with a dinosaur model, namely Brachiosaurus. Queen herself is known to have a bounty of around 1,320,000,000 berries, which makes sense given him abilities and intelligence. Queen is known to have quite a formidable endurance, as shown when he managed to survive Big Mom's attacks. Then, Queen also created various weapons such as the Ice Demon Virus. His body has also changed with the addition of various mechanical elements, which makes Queen a cyborg. 
Marco, after being a mystery. Fans finally found out how much Marco's bounty was from the Viva card, which was released last July. Through the information on the Viva card, Oda Sensei released the bounty values of several characters who are still mysterious about their bounty values. Examples are Marco the Phoenix, Izo, Balabadi, Lindbergh, Karasu, and Morley. Marco's own bounty is known to be at 1,374,000,000 berries, which is a bit of a question among fans. Is this bounty value before the time skip or post time skip, to be precise after the big battle at Marineford? Many fans themselves are a little disappointed with this number, considering Marco's quality as a leader in Whitebeard's crew. King Ken the Conflagration is one of Kaido's three trusted subordinates. He is considered the most powerful when it comes to strength, even surpassing Jack and Queen. Just like Queen and Jack, King is also a eater of the Dragon Dragon fruit. Model, Pteranodon. King's power itself has proven to be very powerful, as shown in the fight against Oro. King himself is known to be from the Lunarian race, a race of the gods known to be extinct. This race has the ability to control fire, which is one of the mainstays of King. King's bounty itself was a mystery, but Oda Sensei later revealed that his bounty reached 1,390,000,000 berries, above Marco's bounty. Lucky Roo Lucky Roo is one of Shanks' subordinates. He is also one of the commanders of the Shanks pirate group that has appeared since the beginning of the series. This can be seen when Lucky Roo asks Luffy about the gum gum fruit he ate earlier. Then when Lucky Roo shoots one of the mountain bandits, after threatening Shanks' life. One thing that is unique about Lucky Roo is that although his body is big and stocky, he is able to move very quickly before others even notice. It is not known whether it is the power of the devil fruit or because of the ability hockey. Lucky Roo's bounty is unknown, but the figure alone might be as high as 1,500,000,000 berries. Ben Beckman. Ben Beckman is one of the crew and also a partner of Shanks. Because Shanks himself is still a mysterious figure, this then applies to the rest of the crew. However, although his strength is still not fully known, Ben Beckman himself is known as one of the strongest characters in the One Piece series. Considering that the Red Hair Pirate crew is a pirate group that is balanced in terms of strength, where their levels are too far apart, it means that Ben Beckman's strength is no less strong and formidable than Shanks. This can be seen from Ben's extraordinary reputation which even made Kizaru stop attacking Luffy. The value of the bounty itself is unknown, but many predictions say Ben has a bounty of 1,800,000,000 berries. By being the right hand or confidant of a Yonko, divisional commanders are indeed required to always be ready and have the strength to be able to fight against anyone at any time. That's why it's only natural that their bounty is no less large than their captain. What do you think?